This is a podcast. That ball is belted. Welcome in, Carlos Gomez. Hello. Goodbye. Aye, 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 aye. Prescott. Down the middle. Butler. Makes a move. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah. We rocking now. For real. Yeah. BS3 Sports. Okay. Sports news. Get it first. When you're getting out for work. Even when you're at work, acting like you're working hard when you're hardly working. I'm a maverick like Dirk, getting Franklin's like Kirk. Hold, hold up, boy. X Squad, you don't know them boys. Being talking facts on every topic. Overall, we just talking noise, just being boys. Covering Texas sports in them tall hills. That with the fake pass over to Elliot. Better watch grills like a car for real. Yeah. Cowboys gonna bring a bow back, Lord willing. Yeah. Mavericks gonna bring a ring back with Mark in it. We live sports, we talk sports, we dream sports, we eat sports. The teacher about to teach the course. Welcome to BS3 Sports. Ay, 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 ay. Bruce! Oh, man, oh, man, yeah. You are tuned in to the BS3 Sports Show. We got a great show today. Candy Bracket Part 2. Hopefully you got your brackets filled out. Also, we got a special interview with Dion Taylor. He's the director of of the movie Traffic, starring Omar Epps and Paula Patton. Also, we'll talk about the weekend sports. So, we got a great show. Stay tuned. Shout out to Cedric Galloway in the chat room early. They'll play this song called Designer by a group called Bridge Water. And then we'll get right into the show. Also, shout out to B.A.B. in the chat room as well. We'll be right into the show. It's you for me. Set apart, I am not among the faint at heart. Front and center, look for me, I know my rose apart. Separated from my past, and I won't make amends. I followed him, and now my burden suffered tragic ends. I made so many mistakes on my journey, but thank God I'm going through all of it. Show people love that was never returned, but the Lord gave me favor because of it. Work together like a game plan. I told the storm I got a brain dance. They think I'm going off the deep end. I told them faith, they gotta make sense. He changed my life to be a light to my environment. Impressing all my critics wasn't part of that requirement. Keep it pushing, leaning on the promise, holding on to Jesus. I'm just being honest. Eyes on the prize, on the greater high, standing on his word. The devil is alive. I stand on my belief, I got a true hope. And I'm just speaking on it like a keynote I called Isaiah 41 and 13 If they ask again, I say the same thing Yo, yo, tell them I tell them it's you Yo, yo, tell them I tell them it's you Sacrifice for my new life Blood bar so I'm high pressed No wonder, no wonder, no wonder It's you for me Yo, Still dealing with some issues in my past Friends that didn't last Lessons that I should have learned at home But I learned them on the go Friends who should be standing in my corner Hating on the go Look for something faithful and consistent Lord, it's you, 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 you. So I don't apologize I choose to let the chips fall Took a leap of faith So boy, and fly without a record Water walking, homie, we don't need a vest for it I got crazy faith, the doctor still ain't sent the check for it Lord, I'ma tell him it's you, it's about the redeemer who suffered to save all Deliver in cover, reason why I love him, I never completely convey all Good fight with them gloves off, got a winning ticket like a stretch out Only through repentance, every sin forgiven, I might be in heaven cause of that cross I stand on my belief, I got a true hope And I'm just speaking on it like a keynote I called Isaiah 41 and 13 If they ask again, I say the same thing Yo, yo, tell them I tell them it's you Yo, yo, tell them I tell them it's you Sacrifice for my new life Blood bar so I'm high priced No one, but no one, but no one I'ma tell them it's you Yo, yo, tell them I tell them it's you Yo, yo, yo Yo, 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 
right, so you were tuned in to the BS3 Sports Show, and we got Tyon Mack up on the line. Appreciate everyone in the chat room jumping in here. Uh, we got Cedric Galloway, uh, Big Apple Bastard. I'm going to say B-A-B. Uh, we got Courtney Harden in the building. Uh, who else? We got Big L. Uh, we got Mac Farrell. Mm-hmm. We got Latif also in the chat room. So get your brackets nice. ready. And uh, Tyon, what's going on? How was your week? Ah, oh, man, great week. Um uh, you know, uh, we had no basketball, but, you know, getting back into that basketball groove after that all-star game, which was actually pretty good this year. Um, it wasn't as bad as I, uh, thought it was going to be. Great idea by two great players. Um, you know, it, it was a pretty good week outside of the, the Fergie, uh, <laughs> the Fergie dismissal. <laughs> Fergie national anthem. Of the national anthem. That, yeah, that yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. But, uh, but other than that, it was a great week, you know? Yeah. So, um, before we get into the bracket, I got a couple of things I got to say. Um, my sister just had twins, uh, so congratulations to her. I'm an uncle uh, two times over. Uh, she already had a son, so she now has three kids. She went to the hospital with one kid and now leaving with three. So um, definitely, definitely oh, yeah. excited about her. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> So just want to give a shout out to her. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, also, uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Yes, nonstop. When you got three, and you got two twins, so God bless her. <laughs> Everybody, keep your prayers up for her, because I'm sure she is. Uh, she's gonna need it. Um, also, I'm gonna say uh, happy birthday to Jeff Fox. I believe his birthday was today or sometime this week. Um, also, Rough Buff. I believe his birthday was sometime this week. Anybody else out there that had a birthday? Uh, I would definitely give you give you a shout out, but college basketball is going crazy right now. FBI investigations, um, Arizona. The the news that came out today or yesterday, the Arizona coach oh, on a tapped line telling somebody or telling an agent or telling the player he was going to get paid a hundred thousand dollars. I mean, at this point. We have to pay these kids. Okay? This already happens. Lonzo Ball came out and said, we're already, we already know the kids get paid. I know that everybody knows they're getting paid. It's just a matter of how it's hid and secretive. So, I, I want to get your thoughts, though. Do you think they should get paid? And, and what's, what, what, do they, what do they need to do going forward? Well, you know, I, <clears throat> I think I've expressed the issue of not uh of like them getting paid and um I do think that college players get paid um but here's here's the problem and here has always been the problem is when you have only two or three sports that generate income like that how do you play those other players right so like for example you know basketball and football are the two highest grossing college sports so what do you do about the tennis players um, that play that play sports. Do you pay them too, or or are they not, you know do they not get paid? Like so, you create a system that is truly unfair in that aspect because all of them are able to get scholarships, all of them are able to get money to play a college sport, but now you only got certain players that are getting paid because they play a specific sport. Right. So um, I, I think that's that's always for me. That's been one of the biggest issues as well. Is like, how do you figure out what's the value of a player? Do you play one player eighty thousand dollars and another player a hundred thousand dollars and the starting center two hundred thousand? Like, how do you do that? That you know that would create an issue as well. You all pay them all the same, and if you do, does the you know the five star prep athlete? That came in, um, you know, break number two in the nation. Is he getting paid a hundred thousand dollars? And then the dude that's on the bench, that's a walk on, getting paid a hundred thousand dollars. You know, you, you have these these issues. So, um, I, I'm 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 like I'm confused. I'm, I'm really like, you know, I'm I'm kind of in the middle ground on, on on paying players. However, I do think that something needs to happen because, you know, you look at the situation happened in Louisville and those players actually played and won that championship and now they're losing that championship because of the the agreement between Patino and and um and Adidas. You know, and that's not fair to those players. You know, so 
uh, it, it's 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 pretty messed up right now. The whole the whole college system is about to just it's gonna probably get destroyed. <laughs> yeah, and I think even with the transfer situation, you know, they're gonna start making transfers immediate. I believe that is gonna happen. Um, so that's gonna completely flip the game because then you're gonna have coaches and people recruiting uh, kids from from each school. So they just need to completely flip. <clears throat> Excuse me. They need to completely flip this whole system uh, because it's is whack. It, it is is not conducive to way to the way everything is right now. Um, and I agree with Bab. He said either let them get a job or pay them one or the other. You can't do both. You can't say I know you guys are struggling to eat. I know you guys are struggling to have food, but you can't work a job. I mean, you got to be. You got to be fair, and they don't care about these kids, and I think that's that's a huge part of the the problem with this. Well, well, well you know, one one thing that I think needs to happen, and I think it needs to happen soon. I think that the NBA and the NFL both need to come in and partner and or do something in regards to eligibility and things like that. So, you know, for the major league base, major league baseball. Let me use their, their model, right? Major League Baseball has a system in place where if a player comes out of high school, they have the option of being drafted into majors and going into a farm club, or they have the option of still going to college. However, if they go to college, they have to stay there for three years. And so what that does is if you want to go to a farm club and make money and play baseball, you can do so. And if that's your goal and you want to work your way up to the majors by doing that, then you have that option. If you decide that you want to go to college, you get an education and refine your skills, then you have that option as well. That, for me, I believe that that eliminates all the scandal that happens in, you know, in, in, in college sports. Because you don't hear about these scandals with baseball. You hear about them with basketball and football. And it tends, it tends to be because these players – really need financial help. And they don't have many outlets to get that from once they come out of high school. It's like, hey, I got to go to college and I got to do this year just so I get a look in the league. Or now I have to go overseas or whatever. But if we create a system here where we can have players going to like a minor league system in basketball and or football, then you might eliminate that, that, that pay-for-play situation in college. Yeah. And I think the, the biggest thing is um, we have – Le- uh, LeVar Ball. Now, I don't agree with a lot of things that he says, but this junior basketball league could potentially be huge for basketball. It could potentially reshape how everything is. I haven't heard anything about it in a little while, but I think this will be perfect. Give these guys some type of middle ground so they're not having to either get paid or not. You, you gotta, you, you have to have something in the middle. Because everything is advancing now. This is not the same, just regular old, you can't do the same regular old thing anymore. I mean, and when you, when you, and when you got when you got these big organizations, big companies throwing money at players, it's hard for those players to say no anyway. You look at, you say, you look at Adidas. Adidas put their hands in like the pot at, at so many different schools. I mean, who, what, what, what 18 year old kid is, is, is turning down, you know, oh, I'll give you $250,000. To go play at this school, I'm not turning that down. I'm sorry. Like if I if I had the opportunity to to take two hundred fifty thousand dollars to go to to Stanford right now to go play basketball, I would do it. Like why not? If they right. throwing it at you, why not take the money? You know. Right. Um, and, and we could talk about integrity and whatever, but I mean these these kids, they still they're hungry. They they have needs. They have you know they want to get their parents out of. You know, bad situations and things like that. So that money becomes tempting. You have to eliminate that temptation by creating a system that lets these kids go make money in their field of choice. And if that's basketball or football or whatever that may be, we got to create it for them so that they can go do that and we can keep the game pure in college. Right. All right. So we got a question in the chat room. BAB says, I thought this was a candy bracket show. All right, we get into it. We get into it. Oh, yeah, okay? we're going to the, I'm trying to wait for everybody practice. to get in the chat room. We get into it. All right, so here you go. If you don't have the bracket, you can.